10 years ago to the day, I got a text message from uh, my sister letting me know that our dear mum had passed away. We'd had a few encounters like this before where she was such a battler, where she was put on life support on numerous occasions and then had life support turned off. And she came back time and time and time again to the point where we were given the instruction from doctors and everyone to say your goodbyes and and all the rest of it. And we did and the family gathered and did that. And then (coughs) what's everyone doing? What? Oh, my God. You know, that happened on multiple (laughs) occasions. What a fighter. Tough old chook. And I remember walking into the room where she was, a grand old lady, um, prepared in the bed by the wonderful staff at the facility with my entire family standing behind her, siblings arm in arm, um, wet around the eyeballs. And I remember walking over to the bed and I kind of leant down to her and, um, you know, everyone's watching. My siblings are there mm. and, and it's just a moment. You don't know how you're going to react until you're in that moment. Uh, exactly. You don't know what you're going to do. You don't well, know what you're going to feel. Yeah. Um, you know, and there's, I mean, there's your mum lying there. So I, I just, I remember kneeling down and looking at her, looking at her and she looked beautiful. And I just, with my index finger, poked her three times in the ribs. <laughs> my sister said, with a look of horror on her face, what are you doing? And I just said, I'm just making sure. <laughs> now, this is a true story. And yes, I deal with humor. I use humor to deal with awkward and painful situations. But there's my mum, out cold. And I felt that was the only way I could respond because everyone looked so bloody sad. I thought we needed a giggle. She would have wanted a giggle. She was the devil. She would have welcomed this moment.